best supercar bargain on today's used car market. That's right, it's the Lamborghini Gallardo. We're gonna review it and talk about it now. So one of the most distinctive styles in the supercar market is a Lamborghini. And it doesn't matter if it's a Gallardo, a Huracan, a Ventador, Murcielago, Diablo, Countach. They all have a very cab forward look with chiseled styling elements. That's what sets these cars apart from almost any other supercar out there. So the Lamborghini Gallardo that we have here is where Audi finally got involved with Lamborghini to assist Lamborghini in essentially creating cars that were a little bit more mainstream, but certainly a lot more reliable. So Lamborghini is one of those rare supercar brands that distinctly stands out different above the rest of the exotic car players in the market. That's right, Lamborghini's always been chiseled, aggressive, hard lines, cab forward look, wide windshield, very low profile and wide, very unique. But Lamborghini is never to be mistaken with any other brand. And the beauty with the Lamborghini Gallardo that I have here is finally, with Audi's touch on it, Lamborghini finally created a car that was all of stylish, reliable, and sounded and looked the part of any other Lamborghini before it. So let's do a little walk around here and talk about some of the key elements on the cosmetic side of it. Now one way that Lamborghini has tried to set these V10 entry level Lamborghinis or the baby Lambos apart from the big brother is the door. That's right, this Lamborghini does not have the infamous scissor doors. Instead, this has a standard door more consistent with every other car on the planet. So a couple other great styling touches on the Lamborghini Gallardo, which actually in some ways is better than the Murcielago that came out slightly before the Gallardo, and that is this car comes standard with 19 inch wheels. Cassiopeia in this case, there's other variations as the models went on, there's the generations moved on in the Gallardo, but it's a 19 inch wheel which brings it up to modern standards. Gone are the days of the 15 and 16 inch wheels. We finally have something that's consistent throughout the industry. We also have this really aggressive mirror. If you look at this, this is something that really, really attractive. It looks sharp from the outside of the car, but with this angular forward here, it looks great from inside the car too. Now what more can be said? It's a Lamborghini, very aggressive rake on the front end. You've got some inlets here on the corners, but this trunk space is actually kind of usable. Let's take a look. And in here we'll find a trunk space that's actually quite functional. If you see down here, you've definitely got room for a medium sized suitcase or a couple of small bags for a weekend away into the mountains. And what would a Lamborghini be without all sorts of intakes and vents like you have here and here that you have on both sides? Some of these vents are there to cool the engine. Some of these vents are to bring in inlet air, for example, up here to bring in the air for the engine. And with a lot of the inlets on the side of the car, some air must come in, other air must go out. You've got a continuation of the air that comes flows out of the car and the chassis. You've got engine heat as well that can escape through these upper vents. You've got all kinds of grates here where it allows a lot of the engine heat to escape because the engine runs very, very hot and the exhaust system is mounted right in behind this grill here. And then what do we have under here? Well, this is the magic right here. This is the five liter V10 engine that produces 500 horsepower in these early Gallardos. Don't let that modest number fool you. This car is still a raging bull through and through. And in today's day and age, where cars are just filled with plastic and cheapness when you lift up their hood, these cars, and being Italian cars, still stay true to style and design. You don't see a whole lot of hoses and mess up here. You see two very distinctive powder-coated plenums here up on top that are very clean, and you've got the intake filters here. Everything is laid out very nicely. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but if you can tell, the engine is actually offset to one side. It doesn't sit squarely between the two buttresses here. It's over to the driver's side a little bit. Primary reason for this to be offset to one side is because the gearbox, which is behind the engine, has to be offset because the drive shaft runs up to the front of the car to power the front wheel drive. That's right, this Lamborghini is all wheel drive. Now thanks mainly to Audi's involvement with Lamborghini in designing the Lamborghini Gallardo, you'll notice the interior 
is a lot more modern. You've got more sloped center console here with all the majority of your controls down here in the middle. The entire interior in this car is leather. The ceiling space, Alcantara. There's even leather along the footwells here. As you get into the car and cross the threshold, you'll notice leather wrapped along there. There's leather abound. Seats are leather, everything is leather in this car. There's a great smell of Gucci person here. It's a wonderful place to be, it smells great, it looks very attractive and stylish, and while it's not totally on par with the newest Huracan in terms of styling, the quality, I would argue that this is a better quality interior than you'll find in the Huracan today, which is a lot more plastic. Sure, you get the Performante or some of those specialty ones with the carbon fiber, that's a great touch, but the majority of the mainstream Huracans are a bit too much plastic, almost like a lot of BMWs these days. Lots and lots of plastic, whereas these older cars are more like the V12 cars, the Diablos and the Murcielagos that had more of the leather interior and more old school Lambo with the styling. So before you set off and you go down a ramp or you come up a ramp, you're always going to need to activate the front nose lift because of sidewalk spaces that, like that over there that are very high and can damage your front nose on your car. So here we go, this is how we do this. Now what you notice when you first set off in one of these Gallardos is because of the single automated manual gearbox that these cars come equipped with, that's right, it's not a DCT, it's a bit old school. So it's coarse, it's aggressive, it's harsh, and most importantly, it's very difficult to engage out of first or reverse without lurching and jerking. It's a little bit slow out of the hole, but trust me when I say, once you're on the fly, there's nothing better than a single automated manual like this car because it hits so hard and there's a distinctive punch on every single shift that you don't even get in a modern DCT transmission. Nothing delivers the experience like an old school Lamborghini. A lot of the older Lamborghinis have the gated shifters, which is great, but they're a dying breed and there's not many around like it anymore. But even these single automated manuals in the Gallardo, some would argue are trash, slush boxes, horrible trannies. But I would say on the contrary, yes, if you're engaging in slow stop and go traffic in downtown Los Angeles, they're a terrible transmission to have to endure through those experiences. However, this is one of the best gearboxes when you get this car on the open road in the backwoods on a Sunday morning and there's nobody else around and you're whistling through the corners and you're pulling gears, you're up, shifting up and you're shifting down and the punch and the experience is second to none. And the beauty is this can all be had for as little as $70,000 US. That's right. These cars are the best value by a long shot in the supercar market today. A car like this is a 2005 with about 28,000 miles. In the Canadian market, it's worth about $110,000. US market, about 80, 85, maybe 90 on a good day. But you can find the early cars, the 2004s, that look, sound, feel just like this car, and you can get them into the $70,000 range. So realistically, these cars have nowhere to go but up in value. There's no way they can drop any more than that. This is a Lamborghini and a great driving Lamborghini, not just a dud. Let's just enjoy some of the sounds and sights of this wonderful supercar.
So if you liked the video, make sure you check out the link to that great review. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.